around. What are you doing? One minute. Nothing shines quite like a diamond, and Joan Hannington would steal them by any means necessary. Nicknamed the Godmother, her criminal tale is being told, with Sophie Turner portraying one of Britain's most notorious jewel thieves. The pair got to meet during filming. She is so vivacious. She owns a room when she walks into it, and yet I couldn't quite get that sense off the page, but when, when I met her, it was abundantly clear just what a big personality she was. It's estimated the real Joan earned millions through illegal means. She's been on the straight and narrow for a few decades, but is a pretty elusive figure, though ITV News did speak to her in 1998, where she told us how to pull off a robbery. You've got to look the part, and to look, if you're going in the shop to like defraud them for like 100 grand watch, well then you've got to look like you've got 100 grand in the bank. So it's just like wearing mint coat, wearing the right diamonds, because obviously they'll know they're the right ones. I won't lose it, will I? As Joan, Sophie plays a mother trying to give her child the best. Whilst shooting, the actor, who has two children of her own, was going through a very public divorce. Joan gave me this kind of fearlessness that I don't think I really had before. Um, and she very much kind of inspired me to stand up for what's right. And she will do anything for her child. And I am right there with her. The series, which starts tomorrow night on ITV, takes place in the 1980s. Having an accurate set was incredibly important. Now we have social media, those, they don't know what they're doing. The Austin Allegra didn't exist in 1985. You're essentially casting a spell over the audience, and it has to be watertight. You're going to die tomorrow, Lord Bolton. Sleep well. She's best known as the Queen of the North from Game of Thrones, but taking on the role of an infamous thief has had an interesting impact on the show's star. Has this changed the way you're going to jewellery shop in the future? Um, yeah, no, I haven't bought a piece of jewellery since. Yeah. I've been nicking it all. Rashid Avda, ITV News.